So at the moment, you are, um, you know, you are spending a lot of time by yourself and maybe spending a lot of time with your animals, your pets, uh, and, you know, taking some time to these people. Um, whoever you're spending time with, um, you know, there's a lot of faithfulness and affection going on. Uh, but it looks like, you know, you're spending a lot of time alone and it looks like you're spending time with, uh, you know, uh, getting, um, getting back to your roots, really, getting back to grips with, uh, you know, the things that you love. So uh, what's going on? Uh, there could be a journey. There could be somebody coming to visit you. So it looks like you might be taking a short journey soon. Uh, maybe you're going off for a little bit of a break. Uh, but it looks like, you know, there's some travel that's coming up for you. And uh, you've got a country house over here. So you could be going off to the country for a little bit of a break um, with this uh, journey card. So you could be traveling to the country, making, maybe taking a little local break uh, just to get your head clear. Um, you know, just to get uh, the energies, uh, uh, you know, realigned, if you like. So get your strength back. So in the past, you've uh, been dealing with people that, you know, you've had um, dealings with somebody that you didn't get along with. So this has resulted in some sort of quarrel, some sort of fight going on. And these people turned out to be hidden enemies. So they were people that were not really supportive of you. So you've been dealing with uh, people that are not really looking out for your best interests. Now, going into the future, you've got uh, a trip to the country. So it does look like you're going off to the country for a little short break. You might be going alone or you could be going with somebody. In this car, these cards, you can see there are couples here. So you could be, you and your partner could be uh, heading off for a little bit of a break. And there is some news coming in for you, some letter, some sort of uh, news that you're probably waiting for. Uh, but that is going, that is, is on its way to you at the moment. Okay, so you've got the Knight of Cups in over here. So there is some kind of offer coming in for you with this Knight of Cups. Uh, it's a very healing offer. It is somebody bringing in this a message, uh, bringing in this emotional support. So you have somebody there. The Knight of Cups could be a water sign. So uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming in, uh, but making an offer for you uh, that gives you that kind of emotional fulfillment. Uh, it's a very emotionally supportive offer because this cup is full. So it seems like, you know, you need that kind of input in your life at this moment. So that offer coming in for you soon. So what's happening with you, it looks like you, you've you ended a relationship with somebody. Uh, you know, you've ended things. Uh, you've got the Ten of Rods over here. So you've ended a relationship that was very burdensome, that had you uh, very miserable, very depressed. Uh, you had a lot of responsibilities, but that cycle has now come to an end. And you're now trying to deal with that. You've got the two of pentacles over here, so you're already focused on your work. Uh, you know, you might be working with somebody, you could be working alone, but this is where you are very focused on your money, focused on earning and uh, making things happen. You might be juggling finances as well, so you could be having some financial problems as well, uh, and you're trying to juggle those finances, maybe doing extra work, you could be taking an extra job, uh, second job. So in the past year, a lot of things have come to light with the Seven of Swords. So what you thought was going on was really not the case. And now things are starting to be revealed to you. You've got the Seven of Swords. It usually talks about deception, but in this deck, it's talking about facts revealed. So what illusion you had about things is now coming to light. So information that was hidden from you is now being revealed. And you're pondering it. You're thinking about it. You're, you're, it's giving you a lot of pause for thought. So you had ended a relationship that was really not good for you. There was a lot of betrayal, nastiness, uh, you know, people took advantage of you and would, you know, almost left you for dead. So this is what happened. You've been completely destroyed by that relationship and it has ended. You've got two tens over here. What's important to realize is that it was a very burdensome relationship. There were unnecessary responsibilities with it. And even though that relationship ended, it was it's actually something that is good for you because, uh, you know, it's taken away that burden. So what's in your mind? You, uh, you know, you've been very, very defensive about what happened. You've got the nine over here. Uh, nine of Swords talking about a lot of anxiety that you're still going through. Maybe you're not sleeping well at night. Uh, you're thinking about whatever happened. You're thinking about the worst case scenario. So something is really bothering you still and you're you're having a lot of anxiety about it. So you've got a third 10 over here. So this relationship has completely ended. It was something that you thought was a good family life, but it turned out not to be. So this relationship has completely ended. So not only did they betray you and left you, you know, really for dead here, left you, um, destroyed you completely. It seems like, you know, they gave, there was a lot of burdens that um, you were carrying uh, that were unnecessary um, and it's left you completely, um, you know, this has left you completely depressed, isolated and alone. 
but also with the Ten of Cups that there was no emotional support as well within that relationship. And this is the reason why it has come to an end. So going into the future, there's the Knight of Swords over here. So you're waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in. There's some legalities that you're waiting for. Uh, and it will come in quite quickly because you've got the Knight of Swords in it over here. It brings in information. It might not be the outcome that you expected or that you really want. Knight of Swords doesn't bring good news, really. Uh, but it is something that um, you know, you're waiting for and that will come in soon. You've got the Three of Pentacles over here. So you are focused on your work. You are trying to make things happen. You are learning as well on this job. And also you're quite an expert at it as well. So you're also probably doing some teaching. But really focused on trying to make money or trying to get yourself sorted out as far as finance goes. You're trying to cut out the past completely. And you're trying to get some sort of victory um, over whatever happened. So you're trying to uh, remove whatever happened from your life and move forward. So going into the future, you've got the Ace of Rods over here, the Four of Swords over here, and the Strength card. So the Ace of Rods, a new project, something new beginning for you, and something that's going to take off in a big way. It's obviously involving some kind of communication. You've got the two birds over here. So it's going to be some project that you start, and it's going to take off. So it's just the beginning phases of it, but it will be very successful. You've got the Four of Swords over here. So... Uh, maybe there's a legal decision coming in over here with the swords card but also it's a, a card that says that you need to actually take a little bit of a break you are very you've got a lot of mental tension and strain going on over here and it is time for you to have a bit of relax uh, just take it easy maybe get back to nature again but you it looks like you're also waiting for some sort of legal decision this might go in your favor actually uh because it's the four of swords so there might be a positive outcome to whatever legal decision there is there's a strength card over here, so you are recovering, so you do need to take a little bit of a break with this four of swords and the strength card indicating that if you have any illnesses or uh, anxieties or problems that are caused by stress, you need to actually take a complete rest and recover from it. And you will recover from it because it is the strength card, there is a recovery coming in for you, but you need to actually, um, you know, just maybe during this period, this holiday period, just uh, let everything else go and just relax and rest and uh, gain Gather yeah, back your strength in order for you to proceed. The Knight of Michael over here, time to move quickly, choose logic over emotions, sudden changes. So there is some sort of, um, Michael usually is about justice, so there is some sort of information coming in for you. You've got two um, Knights of Swords over here coming in, so a decision coming in pretty quickly, and that's what you're waiting for. Uh, you've got the Peace card coming in here, it says release the past, there's something more enriching. Uh, in the future and let go and let God. So you've got to give in to it and walk away from it. Uh, you've got to say that whatever happened, happened and you've got to move forward and this is the thing that is going to bring the peace in for you. And the last card is the Queen of Michael which says you know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. So maybe this is the reason why you haven't started anything brand new because the Queen of Michael says you know you are brilliant, self-reliant, insightful and humorous. And so, um, you know, you need to start working on your projects and this is how you will uh, conquer the situation. So really, uh, there doesn't seem to be, this card says that, you know, it's a time for career rather than relationships. So after all the drama and the trauma that you've been through, it's a time for healing and it's a time to focus on yourself and your career and, you know, give yourself, uh, be kind to yourself, put yourself first because it seems like you put everybody else first and not yourself. So it is a time for you to put yourself first, focus on your career, focus on getting better from any kind of anxiety and stress related illnesses that you might be experiencing and uh, do something that makes you happy in order for you to heal and move forward.